this is one of the rarest Thunderbirds I've ever owned. Uh, it is a 1962 Thunderbird factory roadster. And what makes that so significant is that in 1962 there were only 1,474 of them made. And of those, uh, uh, the majority of them were finished in Rangoon, Rangoon Red. Um, only a limited number were finished in Raven Black and even fewer with the red interior which is leather. This car has traveled 32,000 original miles from new and it was acquired from the granddaughter of the original owner and it drives and handles like a 32,000 original mile car. It is just an absolute pleasure to drive. Uh, black tends to be a very unforgiving co color if a car is wavy, but if you look down the sides of it, Sam, it is uh, as straight as an arrow. Yeah, looks great. When have you ever seen a 62 T-Bird Roadster finished in Raven Black with red leather interior with 32,000 original one owner miles. And it is a true factory Roadster which is confirmed by the 76B on the VIN plate in the driver's door jam. The options include the master guide power steering, the Fortomatic three-speed transmission, power brakes, push-button radio, clock, the clock is an op, and it even, on the center console, I, it even has the original personalized plate wow. with the original owner's name on it. I've never seen one before. Nor have I. That's interesting. And as you can see, it also has the Thunderbird scripted uh, floor mats and the original keys and the key case which came from the dealer and that's the original Thunderbird key case again which I've never seen before. The 73B VIN plate is highly visible. We have the owner's manual. The interior is absolutely beautiful. Oh, swing away steering wheel. Swing away steering wheel. Thank you for, uh, for remembering that. And the aluminum trim, which you usually see that tends to be very edgy on many of these T-Birds, is like brand new. Beautiful. Yeah. And the leather is really rare. Ah. Definitely. A very, very pricey option back in the day. The mileage is documented with uh, the oil change uh, stickers. It even has the original convertible top, which we're going to raise in just a moment. well in the rear area is absolutely beautiful and that is the fifth Kelsey Hayes wire wheel which I've never seen in one. Wow. So the top works like a well-oiled clock and that convertible top is original and 62 plus years old. That is amazing. Sam the Kelsey Hayes wire wheels are absolutely beautiful with no uh, rusting or uh, in any way. Um, the, the 62's 
were considered the most, if not the most, one of the most beautiful factory roadsters because they were called the bullet birds because of the tail lights, which were a takeoff take off on the, uh, the airline turbines at the time. That's the original window or dealer sticker from Beckley, West Virginia, where it was purchased new. But look at the lines on it, Sam. It's so pretty. And with the contrasting black with the red leather interior, it, it is absolutely exquisite in, in my opinion. It has the tinted windows, uh, the vent windows, uh, and if you look at the front windshield, you don't see any wiper scratches. So, you know, that tells us that the windshield wipers were rarely, if ever, used. Uh, it was not exposed to inclement weather. Another feature of the factory roadsters were what was called the customer assist grab bar. We used to call them sissy bars back in the day. Uh, but you can see that there. Look how lovely the door panels are. Beautiful condition. And the back seat leather and carpeting looks just exactly like the front seat. This is the 390 cubic inch um, uh, Thunderbird V8 Special um, with the four barrel carburation and the dual exhaust system. Uh, the engine compartment is show quality. It's absolutely beautiful and again original to the 1962. There's a windshield washer uh, reservoir. I think it's running. <laughs> it runs whisper soft, like a 30,000 mile car set that it's been getting. Recent service included a new gas tank, a new exhaust system all the way from the front to the rear, new shocks, new radiator, uh, new universal joint, uh, complete major tune-up of the engine. So all of that lifting is, has been done. as beautiful as, uh, as a 62 bullet bird is black with the red leather interior um, it is even better to drive uh, it is a 32,000 mile largely original roadster and it drives and handles just like a 30,000 mile car that has been well maintained by the original owner and family uh, since new. The steering is nice and tight. The transmission shifts just exactly as it should. The brakes have all been uh, totally refurbished. Uh, it'll stop on a dime with a power braking system. Uh, the steering is nice and tight. The front end is nice and tight. There's no pulling and at highway speeds it's an absolute joy to drive. Yeah, this is the car you need to take out tonight. It's beautiful. Well, so, so I'm smooth. Just gonna ask, uh, invite Catherine after a glass of wine to pick one that she would like to go touring in uh, this evening. So yeah, it, well, it, it may be this one. It may be one of the white ones. What do you think? <laughs> um, it'll either be a white one or a black one. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it runs with
whisper song. Oh my gosh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's no noise at all. It's beautiful. And that big 390, I, it will go. Oh, it's got plenty of get up and go. And this is before they added the smog and the mission devices to them. So these ran nice and clean. Uh, and the recommendation was that it be run with the premium fuel with that big four barrel carburation and dual exhaust system. An absolute pleasure to drive. for a sec. <laughs> it is amazingly quiet. <laughs> 